Hey friends, it is a cold, dreary, rainy day. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm, I'm cold today. So I've grabbed myself a cup of hot tea and seeds, all these seeds. I am ready to garden. I'm in the mood to garden. I do have a few things potted and in the ground. But still, on a rainy day, we can do gardening together. And I wanted to bring you along and show you what I got. I actually got this a couple years ago and I haven't done anything with it. Because it always seems like when I think of it is when it's the busy time of things. But I went ahead and got myself, I'm sure you've seen so many people do this, the um, crafting box for photos where you could just, you know, have your little case and you carry it with you. And I'm going to sit here and go through my seeds. Let's see if I can get this open. And see there's like 16 of these and they're made for even like the really big seed packets can even fit inside them or multiples. And so I'm kind of excited to play around with this. But before I do this, because I haven't decided if I'm ready to quite give up my old system yet, I'm going to show you that real quick. And then I'm gonna just kind of play around and I have the camera on and just let you guys see what I have going on. But I have this old, old fruit basket that, um, oh gosh, it's probably almost as old as I am. I don't know, this thing is the way you used to be able to, you used to get your fruit in these. And so I saved it and I put my gardening seeds in it and I made these, I made these tabs. Oh, there's one even in front of this I could pull out, I guess. Right there on my artichoke here. So I made these tabs and I hand wrote on them. Like this one is in alphabetical order because that's just what worked for me. Beans, beets, broccoli, and Brussels spout, sprouts. So that's what went behind this tab. And so see, the only A thing I have is the artichokes. And I just have the one... Um, and I ordered these from Baker Creek Seed several years ago. Um, and that's the thing. Uh, see, I've got some, oh, I, I forgot I wanted to make the, oh, I'm so excited to start digging these seeds. I forgot I had gotten these Chinese red noodle beans that I had ordered and I never planted them. And so I need to, I need to get busy and I need to dig through here and see because some of these things are um, really really old and so in addition to once I finally get through these and decide what I want to keep and organize um, we'll get some paper towels and we'll get them wet and we'll do some seed sprouting to see if they're any good to see if they're worth storing so um, yeah that's the project on this rainy day so I'm just going through and I'm getting like seeds together and anything that has the same company, same year, same product, I'm going to take those and I'm going to combine all of the packages into one package because I just don't have the space to store it otherwise. And it just makes it a little bit easier to, you know, know what you have if you're not so overwhelmed with so many packages. So when I first started kind of sorting through all these seeds, I decided that I wanted to write on the package how many seed packets I put in there because that's what I'd done in the past. So if you look at the package and you know how many ounces, you can try to approximate you know, how much you have, how much space that you're going to be able to fill in your garden. But then later I decided it just wasn't worth the time. It wasn't worth the effort because I still needed to test the seeds and it was just was too overwhelming and too much time. So then later I decided to go ahead and just um, repackage them and call it good. I had so much fun going through this. I hadn't been through it in years and I found packages of seeds that I forgot that I had, that I had purchased. I even got the farmer involved and he helped me look through the seeds and we kind of got a little bit excited about what we might grow. I have so many seeds that I will in no way be able to plant all of the things this year, but I am thrilled to have such an abundance of seeds and put together my new seed container. Guys, because I had this 
so organized. It didn't take me hardly any time at all. Just basically anything I had multiples of, I needed to, you know, condense them a bit. But I got everything pretty much in here from this basket, except for, I didn't put any flowers in here at all. This is all veggies. And then um, anything that I had bought in, bought or received in major bulk, um, that wouldn't, those bags obviously wouldn't fit in here. So I'm excited. And then this can just set in the refrigerator or a cool area in the off season. And then I'll be able to quickly grab it and just grab like one or two boxes instead of the whole basket because there were times that got wet and the little boxes will keep it from getting wet, you know, cause sometimes you're trying to beat the rain and so it starts sprinkling and I'll have my packets, you know, kind of waterproofed a little bit. So I'm really excited to do this and start this. And it's got me excited about maybe even opening up a greenhouse again someday. Cause if you go back to my blog and you look way years ago, I have, um, a few things on there and then like one of my very first videos on YouTube I was sitting in my greenhouse and so yeah it is the editing Angela <laughs> and I wanted to pop in here and kind of do an ending to this video that I'm working on and I it really I honestly I had planned on doing some seeds starting with all of you showing you how you can test your seeds and life just happened and I couldn't get there and I don't want to waste any more time. I was talking to a sweet friend and she was telling me how she uses like a heating mat or I think you could use a heating pad to help speed up the process. She likes to use 10 seeds to see what percentage of germination you get. So for example, if one sprouts, that's 10%. I tend to do four seeds so, you know, it's 25% if you would get one to sprout. So hers is probably better. I just save space by doing four. Let me know how you like to do your seed testing. I take a paper towel and I get it wet. And then I lay another paper towel on top. Okay, paper towel, seed, paper towel, spritz it wet, put it in plastic. I've been known to put it in a zippy bag. I've been known to use clear cellophane wrap on um, a table, you know, just whatever works. And that's how I start it. And that's a good way to know when you are putting your seeds in the seed storage, whether or not you want to keep them for the future. All right, guys, I hope that this inspired you to organize your seeds a little bit and get out there and get excited about the gardening season ahead. Bye for now, friends. Good to see you as always. Until next time.